So I've been seeing comments from a number of people who've been having trouble trying to use BTC Recover to recover things like their Solana wallet, Avalanche, uh, Cosmos, Tron, uh, Polkadot, things like that. And basically this kind of wallet does require uh, some additional modules to be installed for Python for it to work and uh, some folk are getting stuck uh, trying to install those on Windows. Likewise, you might just be finding this video because you're trying to install a Python module and you're getting an error like this one. Uh, Microsoft Visual C++ 14 or greater is required. So in this video, I'm just going to run through how you install the Visual Studio build tools that you will need so that you can install the PY Crypto HD wallet module so that you can then use BTC Recover with those types of wallet that need it. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe and that way you can stay in the loop for content I make to help you find your way in the crazy and often hostile environment that is cryptocurrency. All right, so I've just created a test wallet for Polkadot and I've got BTC Recover installed. So if I just run uh, seed recover, so Python seed recover py. I'll just say cancel because I don't have a wallet. And if I select that I have a Polkadot wallet and say OK, it will exit. And basically it will give this message here, which basically says cannot import this module here PY Crypto HD Wallet, which is required for Polkadot wallets. Install it via pip3 install PY Crypto HD Wallet. So basically, we can just take that command and paste it here. And then we hit enter. And this is exactly where most people get stuck. Now the key thing here is you've got to pay attention to these error messages and read them because sometimes they tell you what to do to fix it. In this instance, it actually tells us that we need the Microsoft Visual C++ 14.0 or greater tools required to be able to do this. And it actually gives us the link to get the Microsoft Visual Studio build tools. So we can actually just copy that address, go back to our browser. and paste it in. And we're just going to download those build tools. There we go. So that has downloaded that. Yep. So we'll just say continue and now we just have to wait for a while while it downloads the installer. And once it's finished downloading the installer, we are presented with this. So basically we want to install this one here, desktop development for C++. Now the thing here, you do need all of those modules. If you try and remove some of the big ones like the Windows 10 SDK, it will not work. All right, so you've just got to cop the big download. All right, and that is done. All right, and once that is done, if we run that command again. There we go. It has successfully built it. So now, if we run BT, if we run seed recover, we'll cancel that. We'll select polka dot. And we'll say, OK, and now it actually will get past that screen where it was uh, exiting before. So we don't have an extended public key and the address, we will just use the address from this Polkadot wallet here that I've made. We'll paste that in. Um, and for the mnemonic, what we'll do is this is the mnemonic for it here. So we'll just copy the mnemonic in there. And again, we'll just do something really common, which is say someone was missing a word. So we'll just delete one of the words there and we'll say okay and there we go and it has found our seed and recovered our polka dot wallet and again to be really clear the reason why the result is almost instant is because it was only missing one word you know if you're missing two words uh, or if you've got some words swapped or something like that it might take a couple of hours to run but the good thing now is that all the defaults in BTC Recover will work just fine for up to two missing words in your seed. Once you've got PY Crypto HD Wallet installed, uh, you can actually use BTC Recover with any of the wallet types that BTC Recover supports through that module. So, you know, it's Solana, Tron, Cosmos, uh, Secret Network, 
things like that. If you're trying to recover your wallet, but it's not currently supported by BTC Recover, but is one of the coins supported by PY Crypto HD Wallet, you can either wait around for a few months, it might just get implemented, or if you're in a hurry, you could also just sponsor the feature directly. Uh, either way, just get in touch and we can work it out. So there you go. While it might seem a bit daunting to need to install some of these extra modules for BTC Recover, you know, once they're on there uh, and installed, BTC Recover will work just the same as with any other standard coin. If you get stuck, just leave something in the comments. I do my best to reply to everybody. And if you're totally, totally stuck, and you can jump onto my website, request a paid private session or a trusted recovery there. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. Hit like if you think that other people would find this video useful and hit subscribe if you'd like to be kept in the loop about future content I make that helps people stay safe in the crypto space and to recover if they get into trouble. If you have any questions about this video or a topic that you'd like me to cover, just leave a reply.